Hey guys, it's Mike. Uh, I don't know if you recently viewed my uh, video of uh, the old model Vandegraaff that I built, but um, I've recently updated it, and uh, I came up with a quieter motor and a uh, uh, better bottom roller, which uh, I'll explain later on uh, what I ended up coming up with, and ended up turning out real great. And uh, also another uh, comment I want to make is um, there's a user by the name Joe's Bees who uh, also built a model very similar to mine that I made two and a half years ago that you may be interested in also taking a look at, that is if you haven't yet. But uh, his works pretty darn good as well and uh, hopefully he'll get to check this out as well. So anyway, I'll give you a rundown real quick and uh, show you what I ended up coming up with and uh, hopefully you can end up building something like this for yourself and get some, get some damn good results. So grab a beer and kick back and check it out. Well, here's the new motor that I'm using down there. Uh, hopefully you can see it. That is actually just a standard 120 volt, uh, 60 hertz, 630 milliamp induction motor. No brushes. I uh, ripped it out of a uh, one of those uh, overhead uh, hood fans that you find in uh, uh, like what's above an old stove unit. You know, that sucks the uh, grease and all that crap up out of the out of the kitchen. Anyway, I ended up scrapping one of those out of a buddy's house who was throwing it away and. I was able to get it out of there. They can also be found in cheap fans, uh, say like at Walgreens. You know, you find them for ten bucks or something like that. And uh, managed to get that out of there and had a nice, had a had a long uh, shaft on there, which came real nice and handy to uh, attach an ebonite wheel. Now, if you check out the Tribo Electric Series table, uh, you will notice that at the very bottom of the negative scale is the uh, get the hell out of here, cat. Get is. Uh, a rubber, a very hard rubber called ebonite, and uh, they used them a lot on uh, those old uh, bicycles that had the really solid tires, and you you skid with those and made the little long skid marks and whatnot. Uh, that's ebonite. Also, the wheel that I'm using right here is an ebonite caster wheel from an old car that I had. They can also be found on very old office chairs. The really hard rubber wheels. That stuff is generally made of this. Uh, very hard rubber uh, ebonite. So come to find out, that actually works better than Teflon tape that I was using before in my model. Now I was using now the same uh, bottom brushes, which do not touch the belt. By the way, uh, I'm still using those same brushes, and like I said before, the same blue belt that I have right here that I got from an exercising kit from Walmart, and uh, it's the same as the model before. Stretches up the platform up here to the dome. Now I only have one salad dish so you get a lot of corona discharge on the edges but it still ends up a pretty decent charge up at the top for what it is. Now the top roller is still the same thing that I used in my model before. It is a nylon uh, bed frame wheel that I got from Home Depot and it was about three dollars and uh, managed to get it in there on um, on a removable pin that you can slide out and also this removable pickup brush which again does not touch the belt. You do not want them to touch the belt and sits right here on top of these four platforms which is the same as before. But just all that in, uh, from the other model it ended up working out a million times better and um, hopefully this will help you out on um, building a successful model yourself or even improving the one that you may have. Um, also another thing too is the model before that I had the bottom wheel like I was trying to say before, the the motor that I had before, I was just using the shaft, and it was only about three quarters diameter compared to the top roller up at the very top of the dome, that nylon wheel. That's about two inches in diameter. The whole goal, part of the goal, I'm sorry, part of the goal is to get the same belt speed at the bottom roller and the top roller, and uh, this is achieved by getting the same diameter bottom roller and top roller. So the, the the wheel that I got, this caster wheel off an old cart, or if you can find a, I don't know, look for an old shopping cart laying out around your neighborhood or something like that. But anyway, I'm enough blabbing. You get the idea. I'm going to go ahead and fire this sucker up for you in a second and show you what it can do. Of course you got to do your hand.
packs are only four inches. Packs are quite a bite. You gotta try the fluorescent light. I tried a neon tube earlier, one of those flicker bulbs, and it didn't work. I also built a uh, hand, uh, handmade uh, brown wand in case you don't feel like you know, zapping yourself. But that's fun too. I'm gonna use this. Anyway, appreciate you checking out my video. Hopefully this stuff came in handy for you and uh, keep you updated on everything else. Take it easy. Peace.